So, Concord PD sort of in panic button mode. There's another one. Uh, I just saw about five of them go flashing past me. And then there's another squadron of them over here at a convenience store. Don't worry, I'm not looking through the lens. I'm just kind of grabbing a shot or two on my way to the state house. For some reason, Concord PD was in a uh, an excited state. And as they were whizzing past me, I saw uh, an armored truck too, like a so the state so the state police. But that's how my tape starts on the day after the Boston bombing. With the Conquer PD, things appear to have calmed down now. I noticed as I was driving past, one of the uh, one of the officers was the guy that arrested Mike Fisher for his outlaw manicure back in 2005, I think. You'll see a little more of this today around the state house, I suspect. That's the second uh, trooper I've seen driving by just in the last 30 seconds since they got here. And uh, for the uh, souls in purgatory often, and you know, I'm sure that other people are raised in similar traditions, some, uh, but I think today, whether we are religious or not, or the many different faiths we may embrace, I think that um, at the very least, uh, you know, we can all take a, one moment today, just one short moment today, to um, keep at the forefront of our thoughts the runners, the spectators, the families, the planners, the first responders, the medical teams, and, um, and everyone else who is saddened by what took place. And with that, I have... So with that, I ask that we begin our day um, fully committed to doing the very best we can for the state of New Hampshire. <laughs>